Okay, hi guys, I'm Max. And after a long time I finished this project, I want to share you my technique. Actually, it's not my technique. It's, it's something I just, you know, copied from uh, uh, the amazing guys of Guilty Gears. In fact, after I saw the talk uh, at the GDC 2015 this year, I was amazed about the the idea they had to to have a real time outline in their model. So I was thinking, okay, well, let's try to do in Blender. Even this kind of tune stuff is not really my business, but anyway, just for fun. So basically, what we have here, we have a simple character with a real time viewport outline without any kind of post effect you can see here uh, it's pretty simple technique I'm gonna explain you uh, now so the first thing you have to care about is this option here the back face calling no back face everything black okay so simple so the second thing is basically just make, make, make your model okay and make clean UVs and apply the solidify modifier okay you see without the modifier it's just a flash shading kind of model with some outline and outline painted on you see some you know the shadows actually coming from the light that uh, uh, light BWK an amazing guy helped me to uh, achieve a good result with shading but anyway talk, talk about this later so actually we have the model here and we have the solidify modifier you can you decide basically the thickness here with this value you can animate it it's pretty simple uh, you decide the offset okay but actually one it's okay and um, and you use flip normals without the flip normals what we do has no sense okay and uh, back face culling and flip normals they work alone together okay if you don't have the big face culling and just uh, you flip the normals we have of course total black and if you have turned on the big face cooling and you have uh, turned off the flip normals, it's basically meanless. Okay, so those two parameters here work together. Okay, the the other thing is fill rim. Okay, just turn on, don't ask. And about the how to uh, modify the thickness selecting the vertices okay uh, it's pretty simple basically you I won't create a new group of everything okay just I did I call it like all okay and then I choose it from here wait okay and then I choose it from here okay now, you see, I can still regulate the intensity, the thickness with this value here. And the vertex groups actually, um, I say, just put uh, the intensity of this thickness on some vertices. Actually, the vertices you select and you you know you control the weight under here so even the all these vertices okay are inside this group we can uh, decide furthermore the the thickness with this weight here okay in fact if I select um, every single vertex here vertex here I see that uh, Blender tell me the value 
they influence the weight of the vertex groups, the vertex groups on uh, the single vertices uh, in this tab here. So if I select, for example, those two, those four, those those six, okay, those vertices here, and uh, I go to this panel and put assi assign it again. You see that I start to control it. It's pretty cool. You can control really deep. Of course, this kind of stuff works only with uh, with vertex. So to achieve a small result, you, you need a, um, not a complex geometry, but not that simple geometry. Because if you have too few uh, vertex and polygons, it doesn't work very well. Okay. So this kind of this average it's okay. -ish. So for example here I think it's too fat. And I just a little bit. Maybe it's too little. Maybe something like this. Okay, you see? So or you can paint it. Well, how does it work? Ah, oh, yeah, sure, with the subtract in this case. Okay, so you see, while I'm painting, the thickness is changing. And it's super cool. Of course, to do that, it's better to have a, a, a tablet like like I have. Uh, welcome, my suggestion, because it's best out there. And yeah, you have a lot of control here. You have uh, you can work with one single mesh. You have the stack modifier here, so you can add uh, I don't know like um, normal edit to have uh, some I don't know cool effect. To, to fix some some normals I'm, I'm, I'm not really into this kind of stuff but anyway you guys are more expert than me can use this technique on your benefit so um, after that yes the shading actually my shading was pretty simple but this guy you can see here in, in, in the image uh, light BWK did an amazing job here and I cannot really explain what what he did but anyway just open the file because I'm gonna sh I'm gonna share on uh, uh, blend swap so open it up use this character for what you want just you know to to show to your friend uh, what you can do in blender when they talk, oh, you see, did you did you see the amazing talk about the guilty gear and blah blah blah? And say, yeah, you know, in Blender you can do pretty much the same without script, without fancy options. But anyway, so hope uh, hope this tutorial helped you guys. So uh, see you soon. Bye.